Hello everybody and welcome back to How to World Tanks with your host Michion. Today we'll be taking a look at armor, armor weak spots, and weak spot management. Um, okay, so let's begin. Tanks have armor. We're done. That's it. Nah, I'm kidding. Okay, every tank has an armor value that you can see right here uh, however this armor value isn't the actual effective armor value okay the effective armor value is what happens when you factor this um, with the sloping this is sloping with the sloping or rounding of the armor because when you take a piece of metal that is say a hundred millimeters thick and you put it at an angle if you try to go with a bullet through it this is more than 100 millimeters now okay because it's at an angle um you can think of it like this this gun barrel say is 50 millimeters thick it's more but say it's 50 millimeters thick if you go like this if you were to go like this that's a, a lot more than 100 uh, than 50 millimeters. Okay, you get where I'm going with this? Like this again, more than than uh, 50 millimeters. So that's armor. Now it's very difficult because World of Tanks doesn't have a uh, armor viewer inside the garage to actually know what the uh, what the actual armor is on any any given tank. You can see the um, numeral value but that says so little i mean uh, i assure you the t125 does not what the fuck is up with my tracks um okay there no idea what that was i assure you the t125 does not have 200 millimeters of turret armor at the front of the turret that is, this is 500 millimeters, okay? This is areas of 300 and more. So this is because of sloping and angling, again. Um, now, I'm actually going to move to a third-party program right now. Um, that is to show you an, an accurate representation of how armor actually works in World of Tanks, okay? So let's go there. Right. So this is the third party program that I use. It is, of course, completely free to use and um, completely <clears throat> safe to use and um, legal to use. OK, World of Tanks does not have any problem with you using third, uh, third party programs. Um, the third party programs that they do have a problem with, they announce and um this one isn't one of them this is called tanks gg it's a very good website for all kinds of things um it does also have a 3d model um option the way this tank this site works is you pick a tank with this pick a tank you go you what the fuck is up with my there we go. no what god damn it yeah no idea anyway uh, you can see right here all the stats the very accurate stats of the tank if you want then you go to models you see what models the tank has and what, what it can research 3d model garage yeah there we go um but we're going to focus on the 3d model right now because i want to focus on armor okay so let's um let's take for an example the is3 known for being quite heavily armored uh the is3 isn't actually that well armored okay like again if we're talking only by numbers um the armor thickness of this plate this upper plate is 110 and this red zone is 130. however it is if we do visual 
there we go good enough um, as you can see it's angled it's here there's a pike nose kind of thing right going on here and this side bends over there like not that ang is angled over there and over there as well as being sloped sloped back okay so what you have going is two armor increasing factors which is the angling to the side okay we're talking about um, um it's it's hard to give an example because the the is series are pretty much the only ones that use it but take my word for it this is going to the side okay this is getting um this is angled to the side as well as being angled up so if this was a plate instead of being turned on the side it's turned on the side and laid down okay this makes this 110 millimeters of armor effectively 200 millimeters this is 230 so so if you want to avoid getting bounces from is's just miss this tracked section of the tank now the lower glacis on the is is also an effective um, fire but however he can angle it now that's the thing about the is3 and uh, I don't like the IS3 because of this. And yes, I know there's going to be a lot of hate in the comments for saying I don't like the IS3 and what is wrong with me. But I don't like the IS3 because you can't angle it. Everything's pre-angled for you. Look here. If this is 210 millimeters, this is 170. If I try to angle my armor so that my lower glacis is stronger, now it's 200. This suddenly becomes 190. If I angle more, this is now 180, but my lower glacis is impregnable. The side armor is also now vulnerable. So you can't actually angle this thing at all. It drives me crazy. Because if you angle it, you're exposing weaknesses. If you don't angle it, you're exposing a weakness. And this armor isn't that good anyway. I mean, a tier 8 and something that doesn't have 180 millimeters of armor it's not out there anyone can penetrate an IS trees uh, hull so eh, let's leave the IS tree for now that, that, the point was to show what angling and sloping is the IS trees turret is very much sloped the effective armor is only 176 you can see the effective armor the armor the armor angled and the pre normalization now, normalization that's a good that reminds me I need to explain about that normalization is um, essentially when you shoot AP um, there's an armor penetrator on the AP shell this is effective on actual armor piercing shells in real life that what it does is it strikes the armor angled armor and then it kind of like twists and turns and digs into the armor and this makes the the rest of the shell follow it and this essentially it decreases the armor um, angle by five degrees APCR for example decreases it by three degrees oh uh, four degrees apparently hmm. no what oh ne never mind sorry um, I forgot how this thing works. Yes, uh, APCR decreases by three degrees, and heat and HE don't decrease it at all. So sloping. This is sloping. This is 176. As you can, it's not angled. It's just sloped. Just sloped all over. It's very hard to penetrate the front of the IS's IS trees uh, turret. Uh, by the way, little hint. See this? This. Um, thing here essentially this is super heavily angled however you get because this thing is 20 millimeters of armor this little uh, I don't know what to call it but this little plate is 200, it is 20 millimeters of armor 20 anything can over penetrate it over penetration 
essentially means that you'll get decreased armor angle if your caliber is sorry that that's a partial over penetration is you'll get if your um, shell caliber say the IS three fires a 122 millimeter shell if it's more than twice the effect the the uh, standard the nominal thickness of the armor it will partially overmatch partial overmatching means it decreases a large part of the armor thickness the effective armor essentially the angle uh, complete overmatching is when it's triple or more um, unless you're firing a sick an under 60 millimeter 60 that's nothing there, I don't think there's a tank in the world in world of tanks that uh, has a, a tier 6 of course tier 6 and above that has some anything that's under 60 millimeters of um, millimeters of caliber okay so that's the ice tree now let's head for some weaknesses okay the 88 and the 82 are very good examples for this the AT2 has 203 millimeters of armor at the front, a tier 5. Um, you are not going to penetrate the front of an, of an AT2. Just forget it. Just stop trying to penetrate the front of AT2s with anything. Okay, You are not going to penetrate it. Um, even tier 7 tanks have problems dealing with this thing from the front. However, the Kipola, that's a different story. Every tank in the game has weak spots. Now, the obvious weak spots are the side armor and rear armor. Obviously, any tank except for the weird ass super heavies, which are completely imagined and very much annoying because, you know, no way does, is there a way for this tank to actually exist like this. It will just break down completely. But yeah, the super heavies actually have the same amount of armor at the front that they do at the, at the, at the uh, back. I don't know. The side is still vulnerable, but never mind these guys. The side and rear are obvious weak spots, but almost every tank has frontal weak spots as well. That's the point. You can kill every tank in the game from the front with some exceptions. We'll get to them in a moment. Um, but right now, let's focus on weak spots. This is a weak spot, okay? The rest of the tank is 200 millimeters of armor. Um, tier 5, 6, and below don't have a chance in the world of penetrating this thing from the front. But 106 millimeters of armor, definitely penetrable. No, no, no problem. Okay. Even if you're behind or at the side of an AT2, um, you can hit this. You can hit this. But the thing is, if the AT2 is close to you you only chances to hit this and this is this can be angled the t the cupola cannot be angled if you hit it straight on it cannot be angled any in any way or form okay so 88 same deal this is a, a thing with all of the uh, um british tank destroyers except for the death star a tier 10 the Kipola is a huge weak spot. On the ADA in particular, it's absolutely massive. Okay. By the way, the ADA actually has another weak spot, which is here. This is actually weaker than the Kipola. You can just hit this, you'll penetrate every time, and you'll probably kill a gunner. Um, you can also I remember seeing this somewhere. There we go, this thing. This um, again, all these gun gun and machine gun ports kind of thing so easy to penetrate this thing is riddled with weak spots okay um now i wanted to talk about the um very few um exceptions to this rule which is namely the vk4502 osf b uh this thing is a monster um absolute and complete monster okay if you are a tier 10 tank and you come across this thing oh what did i do oops and you come across this thing you are in trouble 
because you cannot penetrate the front of the hull of a tier 9 heavy tank. Even the turret, the, the only place you can possibly penetrate is if you hit here. Okay, here. And again, it's not weak. It's just relatively weak. Tier 9 and 8 tanks have no hope in hell of penetrating this tank anywhere from the front. Unless they're firing gold at it. Okay. Um, the Cupola is a weak spot, but it's it's a pretty tall tank and the Cupola is tiny. You can hit it. You can definitely hit it, but it's difficult. Um, <clears throat> but other than this very unique exception, most tanks, all tanks actually, except for two exceptions, three actually, um, have Cupola weak spots. The exceptions are the T125, which has a very troll cupola weak spot. If we go to the visual model, come on, come on, there we go. Uh, you can see the cupola actually here. It's 205, 260, 290. So it's a very troll weak spot because it depends where you hit it. If you hit it in the center, dead center. You're probably going to penetrate, probably, unless you're firing a heat, and then you're likely to penetrate. If you're hitting to the side, or to the to the left, or to the somewhere to the right, you should aim here, more or less. Um, it'll probably bounce. The FB215B also has a somewhat troll uh, cupola, as you can see. Here it's 170, here it's 290. Very, very tricky. But all tanks, again, except for this monstrosity, or almost all the most tanks, the lower glacis, this part here, is a weak spot. If you go to the object 140, collision visual, um, we can see that while this part is 210 effective, this. Oh, it's one of the exceptions, goddammit. Um, yes, on the E5, it's good to, to showcase. The upper plate is 380 millimeters thick. Uh, you're not going to penetrate the upper plate of an E5, forget it. Um, this, however, is 180. So you can definitely penetrate this these areas on the E5's armor. Okay? Good. The FV215B, uh, same deal. Very weak, lower glazes. Now, there are other weak spots to every tank, and if you're good enough and you play long enough, you're going to learn them, and you're going to find out that the, um, for example, just going to give you a little example of what I mean when you when I when I say you're going to you're going to find out on your own. It's it's not something that you need to worry about. For example, the AD15. This is an armor hole. You can hit here. And you'll actually um, penetrate if you hit it right here or right here. There you go. In this area. So right behind the gun, essentially. And you you live, you learn, okay? And the important thing is you do learn from living. You play you play a game, you fire at a target, you don't penetrate. Suddenly someone next to you fires at it and does penetrate. Look at where he penetrated, you'll see a big black hole on the target. And you'll know where he penetrated, and then you'll know, okay, I can shoot that part and penetrate. Same thing for your own tank. Say I'm driving an AT-15. I'm driving an AT-15, suddenly I get hit and penetrate it. It doesn't take a long time to pull back, fling the camera around, see where I got penetrated, and know, okay, this is a weak spot, so I need to hide it. And this is the last part of the video, which I want to explain. How can you manage your weak spots? Well, first of all, you need to know your weak spots. You can play like 20 games. I guarantee you people are going to go for your weak spots, unless you have no armor, and then it doesn't really matter. Um, but play 20 games. You'll find out all there is to know about your weak spots, okay? Because people are just going to penetrate them. So I drive my tank. I get penetrated in the cupola. Okay, now I know I need to hide this. How can I hide it? Well, A, if I'm 200 millimeters away, this is a very small target. 
the cupola. Okay, so that's one solution, being far away. Another solution is say there's a wall here. If I'm firing around the corner or behind from behind the building, they can't hit this part. If I'm, you know, if the wall is here, if the wall is here, it doesn't matter. But if the wall is here, this is a very tough tar tar target. Okay. Um, one last thing. I want to just again just make sure you got this angling thing. Hell down. This part 150 millimeters. This is also 150 millimeters. This part is angled back. It's 45 degrees. Essentially, it's 250 millimeter, uh, 220 millimeters. This is 150. These um, turrets kind of thing are actually stronger than this. If you come across an OI, hit this flat part here, this flat bit right here. And that's pretty much it for me today. Um, I do hope you learned from this video. And again, there will be there will be more How to World of Tanks videos coming up. If you have any specific requests, or um, or you want me to explain a specific mechanic or whatever, you're welcome to write so in the comments, and I'll take attention to it. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed.